Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Andy from Verdant Visuals and today we are going to find out how to sync audio in Final Cut Pro. So normally when I'm recording audio I'm using the Rode Video Micro which is on the camera just now but recently I've been finding the audio quality hasn't been so good and I don't know whether that's because the mic is broken or the camera input's broken or something but it's just been quite a hissy noise and so today I thought I'd experiment with an external microphone it's actually an external camera as well but it's um, I'll show you the picture just now of my setup I'm currently using the Zoom Q8 Recording your audio separately is nothing new, a lot of YouTubers do it and they'll have a static mic just out of frame to record the best possible audio for their setup. Now there are multiple ways they can do that and quite often it will be a microphone attached to an audio recorder. The setup I'm using is the Zoom Q8 which actually is the recorder and the microphone built in. Now I'm quite close, I'm about a foot away so the audio quality should be pretty good. So I'm going to just let you hear a test between the Rode Video Micro and the Zoom Q8 and you can see for yourself the difference which is better. So this is the Rode Video Micro and this is a sample of the Zoom Q8. Now the advantage of using the Rode Video Micro is that the audio and the picture is already synced because it's linked into the footage itself because the camera is sorry the microphone is connected to the camera so when I import that footage that audio is baked in and it should be slightly better than the camera's onboard microphone but as I was saying I've not been finding that's the case recently however if you're using an external microphone that audio is on a separate SD card that is not linked to the camera footage that you're seeing so you have to then take that audio bring it into your editing software whether it's Final Cut or Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve and you have to then sync the two together. So let's jump into the software and I'll show you how I sync up the audio in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing I like to do is to organize my folders into my video and audio. This is my project folder here in the hard drive I'm going to be editing off of. So open that up. You see I've got two folders, one for audio and one for video. You're going to drag your audio clips from your external recorder into this folder and your video clips into this folder and that will make a wee bit of sense once we open up Final Cut Pro which we'll do just now. So when we open up Final Cut we have our project here and if we choose audio or video it just keeps them separate and easy to find things. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the timeline here and I'm just going to get my first clip and I'm going to hit E to drop that into the timeline. Bring that to the start and then if we find our audio, just drag that underneath. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to find an area where we do the clap. So you can hear that on the camera and then Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Andy Fugger. There's another clap there from the external recorder. So what we're going to do is just shorten this clip and drag that along to where the spikes meet. If you zoom in a bit further you can match this up really close. Now if we turn down the volume on the camera and just have the audio recorder it should sync up. And it's as simple as that, that is the audio synced. Now if you no longer want to use the, the audio from the camera, best thing to do at this point is to select both clips, just shift and click to select both tracks, right click and create a new compound clip. That's going to tie that audio to your video track and now you can edit as you would normally. So it's as simple as that, that is the audio synced. So from here you can go ahead and add any presets to your audio 
that you think might improve the sound. So first thing to note when you are recording audio on a separate audio recorder is that you want to get a reference point for syncing the audio. Now the most common way to do that is simply to clap your hands and then that will create a spike in the waveform and that will let you know where to connect the two clips. And from there it should be pretty straightforward to connect the audio. That is the reason people have these in Hollywood. It's called a clapper board because it creates a very distinct clap and a spike in the audio. But if you don't have one of those, that is just a prop. A simple clap of the hands will do the job as well. So that is about it for today's video guys, just a quick one today. New looks in the studio, it's not really a new look, it's just a new angle, let me know how you think. I've got a bit of daylight coming in from this side and my key light up here. Just experiment with different angles in this small space to see what looks best and give you guys a little look around the, the studio. That is it for today's video guys, if you enjoyed it, found it helpful, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you're not already and I will see you in the next one. Stay home and stay safe. See ya.